Silent Sentinels The Story of the Megaliths Big stone boulders known as megaliths were arranged in a circle or as a single stand alone stone on the surface or underground to mark the burial sites a practice that began about 3000 years ago in Deccan South India and Kashmir there were a couple of actions people carried out to make megaliths these were transporting stones breaking boulders finding suitable stones shaping stones digging pits in the earth placing stones in position and finally burying the dead the dead were buried along with distinctive pots called black and red ware tools weapons of iron skeletons of horses and ornaments of stone and gold finding out about social differences articles found with the skeleton of the dead by the archaeologists were not same for every dead body some dead bodies were buried with gold beads stone beads and copper bangles while others were buried only with a few pots which suggest there was a difference of status amongst people some were rich while some were poor were some burial spots meant for certain families often megaliths were found to have more than one skeleton indicating that the site belonged to the same family these bodies may not have been buried at the same time and stone boulders could have probably served as signposts for that particular burial site a special burial at inamgao inamgao is a place on the river ghor a tributary of bhima and was occupied about 3600 and 2700 years ago the dead were buried in the ground laid out straight and the head pointing towards north burials were within the house with food and water placed with the dead one person was buried in a large four-legged clay jar in the courtyard and was placed in cross-legged position what skeletal studies tell us it is difficult to determine the sex of a skeleton as there are no major differences between the skeleton of a man and a woman If jewelry is found with skeleton it is assumed that the skeleton is that of a woman but it is not confirmatory as men also wear jewelry sex of a skeleton can be better determined from the bone structure as the hip bone of women is larger a renowned physician named charaka wrote a book on medicine known as charaka samhita about 2000 years ago which states that human body has 360 bones which is larger as compared to 200 bones recognized by modern anatomy occupations at inamgao archaeologists have found seeds of wheat barley rice pulses millets peas and sesame and also bones of cattle buffalo goat sheep dog horse pig sambar deer black bug antelope hare crocodile fish etc showing that all these were used as food evidence of fruits such as beer amla jamun is also available elsewhere first evidence of writings in china is found to be about 3500 years old these writings were on animal bones which were called oracle bones and were used to predict future questions were written on the bones like would the kings win battle would the harvest be good and then these bones were put into fire and they cracked because of heat the fortune tellers predicted the future by studying these cracks but sometimes made mistakes the kings lived in palaces located in cities and they gathered large quantities of wealth which included decorated bronze vessels